Okay, what if we get the person who created the like button for Facebook to like our page on Facebook? Let's try. The like button on Facebook is used 5 billion times every single day. In 2009, Jared Morgenstern was one of the creators of the like button at Facebook. And today, he kind of feels bad about it. And then, I launched the like button. Mankind's greatest gift to doing things for other people. A little over dramatic, but at the time, that's how I felt. So we had three goals for the day. First, we wanted to meet him in person and introduce him to the vision behind Generation Why Not. Then we wanted to get the like on our Facebook page from the designer of the button himself, and finally take him out of his comfort zone. But first, we had to find a way to get to him. We started our quest by emailing every single person we knew in San Francisco, but we were not off to a very productive start. I'm trying to start um, my makeup tutorials, but they don't really Dude. Thomas, we're trying to work here, bud. What are you doing, dude? Also, my hair is, looks terrible. Like, I'm trying to get the worst angle possible, but any angle is bad anyway. Really. A few days later, we got his email, so we had to craft the perfect message. What's the best way to like get him hooked? You have very interesting. It would be interesting to see his perspective on how it's affected our culture and our generation. And on the third day, we got a response. Just answered and said he wants to meet us. On the day of in San Francisco, 10 minutes before our meeting, we still did not have a plan for how we could get him out of his comfort zone. And as always in important situations, Amar and I are always on time. Oh, what do you know? This Left them inside. never happens. I made it. We had no other choice than to wing it and see where the meeting takes us. He's one of, well, was one of the first uh, three designers, I think, to get hired by at Facebook. Yeah, to join Facebook. We got to his house, and even though we usually improvise, this time we were a little nervous. So we started off by telling him about our mission. We're, we have our YouTube channel called Generation Why Not. I um, checked it, and I watched the, the main original video. I met these guys, and we made a list of 30 things we've never done before. Jared worked closely with Mark Zuckerberg at Facebook and had some insider stories to share. And Zuck was over here, I was over here, and this was like three people, three people, three people, three people, three people, three people in these pods. And this pod was called Siberia because it was so far away <laughs> from Mark that it would be hard to influence him. And then there was a there was a decision, and he looked at me and he was like, "Would you rather like just be a college site or like?" you know, be relevant to everyone. But he said it in the Mark way, which is like, I knew the answer. <laughs> right, right? And it was like, would you rather risk everything and be nothing or do this? But I think he had that passion and like competitive edge mm -hmm. that like pulled us to, to success in all these areas. And most of my career at Facebook was e-commerce. Mm -hmm. And then like button was just an, a side project. <laughs> so, <laughs> we didn't know it was gonna be huge. I started thinking like, ah, oh, the like button is horrible for the world, but I don't think it's horrible for the world. Someone reaches out to you, even in the lightweight spectrum of a like, it's still like someone reaching out mm -hmm. to you and like, I'm thinking about you enough to do this. Mm -hmm. And I think when it gets bad is when you feel like that can replace your real need to mm -hmm, communicate right. with people. And he finally introduced us to his new app, Chime, which aims to bring back intimacy into the way we chat by redesigning face-to-face -face conversations, an app we use every day now. Hey guys, congrats on making it to BuzzFeed. Also, how did you make it to BuzzFeed? I want to get on BuzzFeed. On Snapchat, you have to worry about your bar. Right, you're still, is this cool enough so yeah. that I'm going to get 72 watches yeah, yeah. maintained over time, right? I kind of, we believe that, uh, you know, the best way to interact is like this mm -hmm. in person, oh, right? But yeah. it's, uh, it's the hardest to schedule, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was hard for you guys to schedule. Yeah. Yeah. It was now time for our next objective, get him out of his comfort zone. We're trying to find a way to get you out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Maybe we can go out to people and talk about Chime. And like, there's a lot of people out in the park. Have you had to give out, Amar had to give out posters the other day? Like, to, he made like 40 bucks just giving out posters. And the amount of times you get ignored is just that so hard. That make you feel uncomfortable, but, but let's do that. I have some thickers. <laughs> let's do it. Go in the middle. Oh my god. <laughs> is this what you guys do? Guys, this guy is super cool. He's building his own startup. It's called Chime. And it's a really good app. It's a great app. download. Baby. Called Chime. Video messaging app. Chime. What did you do? iOS app that lets you share videos with the people that you care about. And the beginning was pretty awkward. It's like Snapchat. So it's like Snapchat with like an app that saves your Snapchat. So what's the difference between this and like the Instagram direct? I don't really video things. Maybe. I heard a maybe. <laughs> it's alright. I think we're good here, huh guys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should for sure go up to the people on the staircase. 
Okay, we're gonna go we're gonna go past him. It's so interesting how being a little bit anonymous can make you into like a, a yeah, but at the end, he killed it. Nearby for about sharing videos with the people you care about. Nice approach. I got complimented on my approach. So check out uh, the app I've been working on. It's called Charm. It doesn't Charm. share. It's good for keeping in touch with like, friends who are abroad or family if they're not nearby. I am out of my comfort zone. I, I'm like, yeah. I'm smiling, but I. Like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was fun. This stuff is fun. I think you guys, you're. What you're, what you're convincing the world by showing them is like, is exciting. It's like when you, when you used to like, remember the first time, I, I don't remember this, but I imagine the first time someone gives you like a basketball to play mm -hmm. and you're like, you just try. And now if someone like asks me to try a new sport, I have that fear of failure, you know? And like sometime along the way, that excited energy of trying new things becomes like forgotten. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like that failure game that I was telling you what you guys are doing. It's a, it's pretty neat to try to transform that feeling of anxiety into one of like yeah. happiness or excitement. And we still had to cross off our last goal. Get his like on our Facebook page. There you go. Oh my God. We have a song that we use every time when we like celebrate. That's what happened right now. Get the t-shirt over your head and run around. It was great to give a positive reinforcement on likes and more, but you know, this is this is a little bit better. We learned two things today. First of all, no matter who you are, when you put yourself out there, you have to expect that people will always find a reason to diss or make fun of you. Second is don't measure your happiness through likes and don't do things only for the Instagram pictures. See you on Thursday. No, no, wait, wait. No, but it's also like turning yourself. Awesome, guys. Uh, since I saw you, I went down to Dolores Park every day. I spent three hours.